Formula 1 is less about the driver's skill and more about the quality of the car. This is the age-old statement which keeps coming back whenever a driver and a constructor dominates for a short or long period of time. It has been said for years when Schumacher and Ferrari was at the top of the sport and when Hamilton and Mercedes dominated for almost a decade. But is Formula 1 really more a battle of engineering skills and less a battle of driver skills? To understand this better, we need to evaluate a couple of scenarios including how a grade to average driver would perform in a grade to average to poor car. We know for sure that a great driver car combo results in. It is also clear what below average driver car combo results in. But what is uncertain is and is almost never seen is what a great driver can do in a poor car and what a below average driver can do in a great car. But let us run through a couple of these scenarios. Lewis Hamilton in a Williams. It is almost impossible to say for sure how Lewis would perform in a Williams. But we do have a parallel here. Russell has been a Williams driver for two and a half years now in the back of the grid and he drove for Mercedes for a race in which he was clearly expected to finish in podium and even perhaps win it before Mercedes messed it up. During Bota's time at Williams, Williams was a midfield team with chances of points. But it was clear that when he moved to Mercedes, he almost immediately became a clear podium contender for all races. What Russell has done this year is to consistently extract maximum performance out of that Williams, taking it to Q2 and even Q3 once. If Lewis ever drove for Williams, he could see a similar performance from him. But to expect anything more because he is a world champion would be stupidity. What Lewis could do with his experience would be better tire management, fuel management and developing better strategies for the team. But he will not be able to do is to bring Williams up to midfield. Nicholas Latifi in a Mercedes. It is difficult to find examples of an average driver in a great car. This is because great teams almost never take a rookie for his first season. So it would be difficult to understand how someone like Latifi would perform in a Mercedes. However, from my understanding, what someone like Latifi would struggle with in a car like Mercedes would be his lack of experience. It would be unfair to expect him to take the car across the line with barely any rubber on the tires. It would be almost crazy to expect him to make the right judgment calls almost every time when defending and overtaking his opponents. But on a one lap pace, he would clearly able to match the performance of Bottas in Mercedes. Antonio Giovinazzi in a Ferrari. Now let's talk about a decent driver in a decent car. Ferrari is clearly a midfield car now and Giovinazzi is clearly a driver with a lot of potential and some valuable experience in back. If Antonio ever moves up to Ferrari, it would be anyone's guess how he would perform against someone like Leclerc. Charles would still be the favorite in a teammate battle, but we could expect Antonio to perform at a level that Carlos is able to currently. That would mean the driver standing as it is, is pointless as a measure of driver abilities. It is more a measure of driver success in combination with team's abilities. A great driver would never be able to single-handedly take a poor team to midfield. And a poor driver is always in the contention of points if he is in a great car. And the gap in midfield is more attributable to the quality of the car than the skills of the driver. Does that mean that it's always all about the car? Well, not exactly. At the highest level, it is 95% about the car and 5% about the driver abilities. What separates Lewis and Max is mostly the car. But that 5% could be the differentiator between finishing first and second and ultimately winning the championship and missing out in a close margin. We saw this with Lewis and Sebastian in 2019. If Mercedes claws back in performance soon, we could see it this year as well. 
Car performance is clearly the biggest differentiator, but if that is matched, then it is always the tiniest of margins of driver skills that would decide who goes down in history as a champion and who will forever remain overshadowed by them. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content and stay tuned to I am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.